here halfway through milling a slot and now I need to measure the depth but the vernier won't fit the setup's locked in and you're out of options I've been there so I found something that actually works if you have a DRO, a digital readout this isn't a problem you just lift the head take your measurement drop it back down and carry on but without one you're stuck you have to move the table way out on the x-axis just to get the vernier in there and if your slot runs in the y direction that's a dead end the x position and head height are locked in you can't move either and most of the time there's not even enough y travel to come in from the front you could try using a micrometer but that's not what it's made for you could measure above and inside the slot then subtract technically possible but useless if the slot is narrower than the micrometer shaft a proper depth micrometer would be perfect but they cost an arm and a leg and I still need mine then I stumbled on this a thread tire gauge it is accurate to 0.01 millimeters that's just 10 microns less than half a thou and way more precision than I can machine and it cost me 135 rand about 8 bucks it works well even when you are slotting in the y direction out of the box it was decent but the base had a weird cutout that threw off readings on small parts so I made a thin steel foot and drilled a hole for the shaft then I lapped it flat on a diamond plate once flat I glued it on and now it sits perfectly for good measure I lapped it again with fine grit and polished it since flatness is key I checked it against a reference surface now I'd say it's as accurate as my vernier caliper let's test that I mulled a slot with a known depth wide enough for the micrometer to fit According to the micrometer, the actual depth is 1.08 mm. First up, the tire gauge. I zeroed it and took three readings. Now the vernier. Also zeroed. also measured three times the verdict the tire gauge is the same as a micrometer reading 100% accurate it confirms the tire gauge is workshop accurate with the added steel foot I lose about 3 mm of depth range but I gain consistent accurate measurements even in tight spots check out the next idea by clicking the link on screen see you in the next project